when I was informed I needed the ICD implant, I was quite surprised. I seemed to have recovered very well from the heart attack. My exercise tolerance was good, but I'm at risk due to the damage caused in the initial heart attack. My biggest concerns about receiving the ICD was what happens if it goes wrong? The subcutaneous defibrillator was invented primarily to eradicate the problems that arise from having a transvenous defibrillator. The main problem that arises from a transvenous defibrillator is that it has a lead that goes into the heart through the blood vessels and infection therefore is a risk that could become blood-borne and also if that wire needs to be removed then removing it can cause a significant complication including potentially a lethal complication. I chose the subcutaneous defibrillator because it's much less invasive if there are any problems, it's much easier to remove. There's less chance of any serious complications. Patients are definitely becoming better at researching their own therapy. They'll routinely come to us with a lot of information when we see them in the clinic, and they may even have decided on which device they'd like even before we speak to them. I did quite a lot of research online about the ICD, the two different types, but then I got information from the cardiac team as well. Almost all patients who might benefit from a defibrillator could be suitable for a subcutaneous defibrillator. There's no problem now. I can do everything I did beforehand. I can stretch the same I could. Generally, it's just there and you don't notice it. Mm -hmm.